Hello guys and thank you for clicking on my channel. My name is A and this is the Real Movie Podcast and today I want to talk about my top five Netflix TV shows. Netflix has become really big in the recent years. I remember when Netflix, you know, took over the shows that were almost done but they weren't done like Arrested Development and uh, now they have their own shows. This list these five TV shows are my top five favorite TV shows. Of course, I haven't watched every single Netflix show there is. There are lots and lots of them. And in on a daily basis, we see new projects as well. Uh, so yeah, this is personal. So if you have anything to introduce me to, don't hesitate to do that. Number five, Ozark. Okay, so I did a complete review on Ozark. You can check it out on my channel. Uh, I talked about everything, every single character, every season. And uh, yeah, Ozark for me is number five. And uh, long story short about Ozark, it always seemed to be a great show, but never dared to become one. And that's for me why Ozark is number five. And uh, of course, I have watched so many other Netflix TV shows, but Ozark was still really good and really captivating. I love Jason Bateman and what he did to that TV show. But unfortunately, it always occurred to me that, okay, why aren't you better? Number four, Squid Game. I will do a review about the Squid Game uh, in a few days uh, because I recently watched it. I haven't watched the show when it came out. You know, when something is mainstream and everyone's talking about it and you you like, oh, I don't want to do that, I don't want to watch it. it. A Squid Game for me was kind of like that. So I resisted for almost two years, three years. I don't know how many years it has been. But uh, I think I watched it last month. I binge watched it, you could say. I really liked it. I really liked the idea. I really loved the, the characters for a show that I knew who was going to win the Squid Game. It was really fun. I really loved the creativity and uh, the plot of the show. It, and it was really fun. I had I enjoyed watching it. And I cannot wait for season 2. Of course, it has its ups and downs. I will do a full review in a few days. Uh, but anyways, Squid Game is my number 4. Number 3, Stranger Things. I talked about the Stranger Things. And uh, unfortunately, Stranger Things is uh, one of those TV shows that uh, with the first season, it gave us everything. And in the next 3, season 2, 3, 4, season 4 was better than the previous two but still it could have been a lot better it was it could have been close to season one but at the end it got it retracted itself i don't know what happened in the final two episodes volume two which came out in really recent days like two weeks ago something a week ago uh, anyways stranger things for me is number three uh for many reasons i i really like this show but uh, the runtime is a lot. The characters are abandoned on many cases, you know. And what I really dislike about the Stranger Things is the conveniences that the heroes of this story face. For example, they have to do something simultaneously at the same time, and they always do that. And it has become a bit predictable. So it is my number three. But it is still really good, and it, it is worth watching, to be honest. It's really fun. Number two. House of Cards. Oh, how they massacred House of Cards. I really cannot believe what they did to this show. Uh, House of Cards was one of the first Netflix TV shows that introduced this platform to the world. It was such a good and dark and perfectly cast and well written with every single character that you loved. The reason why House of Cards is number two and not number one is only because of the last season. Netflix has a bad habit of being stuck in the trends and that is what I really hate about it. I'm not ashamed to say that Kevin Spacey is one of my favorite actors of all time. Kevin Spacey as Frank Underwood is just prime Kevin Spacey. I really loved every single thing that happened on that TV show from the beginning to the end of season 5. But unfortunately season 6 you can watch the reviews and ratings on IMDb and every other platform. Uh, it sucks. It really sucks. It was a really good show that was ruined by the trends, by the media, by the news unfortunately. And uh, yeah that was really unnecessary. 
But needless to say, House of Cards is one of those TV shows that if you hate politics, you're gonna love this show because it shows us how dirty and messed up politics politicians and politics are and if you love politics you you're going to learn a thing or two so if you haven't watched house of cards just do it right now and before i talk about my number one please if you like my content like and subscribe thank you and my number one drum rolls bojack horseman i really don't know what to say about bojack horseman and uh what an awesome TV show this one is. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the voice actors. We have the great Will Arnett as Bojack. We also have cameos from John Krasinski. We have Aaron Paul as one of the main characters. We have Alison Brie and uh, so many other cameos from great voice actors. And the story of Bojack, well, I'm not going to spoil it and talk about it. It's about a washed up. Hollywood actor who is a horse who was famous now he's not and he's trying to write a book about himself so he hires kind of a ghostwriter you could say it is a really depressing show I'm not gonna lie to you uh, if you watch this show and think too much about it you're gonna feel really bad and yeah you're gonna be depressed but just watch it as a show and there are so many great lines to pick up from it don't hesitate to watch this show and the funny thing is, the first season of Bojack Horseman is so different from the rest that you're not going to believe it. And I don't think I will watch a show really in any time soon that will replace Bojack Horseman as my number one. And yeah, thank you for listening to my voice. This is my top five Netflix TV shows. For me, these are really good and worth watching. If you have any suggestions for me to watch because I seem to have a lot of time, and uh, yeah, don't forget to comment down below. While you're listening, just click the subscribe and like button. That would be really cool as well. And as always, thanks. Bye.